So the classic handicap chase is next to Grade 3 handicap here at Warwick. One of their biggest races of the season at the top. Hardly for the national, Joshua Sutherland, Lawmower, Darren Thompson, Dawn of the New Age, Joshua Sutherland, Bucco, Martin Needham, Southside, Kevin Meenan, Castle Donington, Darren Thompson, Landlark, Craig Beckwith, Moral Fat, Leon Van Rensburg, Classic Ben, David Hooney, Madeline Rose, Padre Hogan, Captain Mannering, Martin Needham, Molly Awesome, Alex Cherry, Watchtower, Graham Clutterbuck, Woodland Venture, David Hooley, Moon She, Stu Gray, Pride of America, Paul Rose, Boomerang Amarn, Graham Clutterbuck, Lord Cal, Padre Hogan, Paul Satilla, Alex Cherry, Barbican Grove, Stu Gray and Gran Torino for Paul Rhodes so a field of 21 then for this and they start right in the shadow of the post and the rain continues to fall called it out of way a big field and this big handicap as they race towards the first of the 20 fences and race away from the stand then and take this Turn to the back part of the track, the first fence you can just about see it from the stand. The landlock has quickly gone five or six clear. And they continue this long one to the first. This landlock will settle down in the lead. Boomerang and Mon, just the back mark at this early stage, and they're still making their way to the first. They've got there now, and it's a plain one, and over it they go, and they're all safely over it. We landlock a good eight lengths clear of Lord Kai right over on the far side of the yellow. The blue jacket is moral fact, the black and the red hoops is Dawn of the New Age, right on this near rail is Gran Torino for Paul Rhodes, tucked in behind that one. He's hardly for the national, the second one in the black and the red then Barbican Grove another one who's close up and the most of the locally trained horses Bucco who's been placed in this before is next but it's Landlock who's clear in front at the second so they all stream over the second and Landlock clear in front Dawn of the New Age has now moved through into second on the inside of that one is Gran Torino wide on the track is Lord Kai this is a ditch as they get to it, and over that one they all go, all safely over it, with Woodland Venture for David Hooley, just the back marker now. So just a one grey in this one, that south side for Kevin Meenhan as they get to the fourth. And they're all safely over the fourth with Pulsar Tiller, Alex Cherry's horse, and then drop to the back after that mistake. Landlock leads over the fifth. We'll safely over that one. With we'll Moral Fat second, Dawn the New Age third, and Lord Kite on the outside of Gran Serena, then Barbican Grove and Castle Donington, and hardly for the National as they get over the next, and hardly for the National can't see it. It's disappeared. So it looks like we might have a problem again with this race, disappearing horses, unless anybody can see it, and I can't, and my eyes have gone. Funny, but I can definitely see Landlark in the lead. Then I can see a line of four. Moral Fat, Lord Kai, Dawn of the New Age and Gran Torino. Behind them should be hardly for the National, according to that graphic at the top there, but he's not there. Then comes Bucco and Barbican Grove, and then Castle Donington is after that one. So we had this problem last year, didn't we? A couple of races where horses disappeared. And Landlark is in the lead, so we're going to have to use the graphic at the top a little bit more than normal to keep our eye on where hardly for the national is supposed to be as they get over that next one and make their way up past the stand then as they skip over that one with landlark in the lead clear of lord kai in second this will be the final fence next time round And Landlark and Izzy leads. They come past the winning post. And Landlark's got a lead of about five or six lengths. Then Lord Kai's in second. Moral Factor's in third. Dawn of the New Age. That's the black and the red hoops of Joshua Sutherland that we can see. Who's in fourth. Then Barbican Grove and Gran Torino. Then comes Castle, Castle Donington, who's in the maroon 
with the white sleeves now hardly for the national is supposed to be somewhere between that horse and bucko the one in the yellow cap pride of america is tucked in behind them then comes Boomerang and Mile on the road. The second one in the maroon with a yellow cap is Captain Manor in last week's Welsh National winner. That's got David Hoodie's classic banner on its inside. Watch Towers also there on the rail. Then Moon She. Then after that one, Lawnmower and Woodland Venture. The Grey South Side, Madeline Rose and Polly Awesome. And then finally Pulsatilla. So as they get over the next, it's just hardly for the National that's invisible. And Landlark is the leader. To Moral Fact second, Lord Kai third. Then Dawn of the New Ages in fourth. And Gran Torino and then Castle Donington. Yeah, hardly for the National, then just somewhere around there with Bucko and Barbican Grove and Boomerang Mart. I suppose this is one of those things that nobody's going to notice until you start commentating on it, so we can't. In any way, blame the race runner for not for this invisible horse not being there. Obviously, in an ideal world, once it had been noticed, the race would have been stopped and started again. But probably didn't get noticed until I didn't notice it after about four or five fences. And any moral factors gone there, so moral factor fall up. And Landlark is in the lead. Gran Torino second. Dawn of the New Ages third, then Lord Kai, then Bucko, then Castle Donington as they get over the 14th. Then Barbican Grove running a big race on the outside of Classic Ben. Hardly for the National is around there somewhere. Watchtower and Pride of America, then Boomerang of Ireland, south side of the Grey. Getting a bit closer as they get over the 15th, which they're all safely over. And Grand Lark, sorry, Landlock, not Grand Lock, it's Grand Lock and Grand Torino. I'm getting all confused with these invisible horses and things. The one just snatched up there was Watchtower. They get over the 16th and Landlark is still clear. Been in the lead all the way from Gran Torino in second. Dawn of the New Ages third. Bucko is four. Barbican Grove is next. Watchtower's got a clear run now. Then Boomerang and Mar. Classic Ben is after that. Then comes the invisible Hardly for the National with Lord Kai. And they're racing down towards the final four fences in now. And Landlark is still in the lead. Been in the lead all the way from Dawn of the New Age in second. Over the fourth last they go. And over that one we see them all streaming over it. They're all over it okay with Landlark in front. Dawn of the New Age second. Bucko is third. Boomerang Amar looks to be going really well. Then Watchtower Classic Ben is getting into it as well. This is the third last. And Landlark still in front but now about to be joined by Bucko and Dawn of the New Age. South side of the grey is getting into it. Then comes Gran Torino and watch that. Madeline Rose is a faller at the back. Over the second last they go and it's still Landlark in front. Landlark in the lead from Bucco now throwing down a big challenge in second. The local Raiders coming to challenge Landlock. Landlock's in front. Bucco's in second. Over the final fence they go and Landlock got away from it well and Landlock has led all the way and Landlock is pulling away and Landlock is going to be another one for Craig Beckwith. What a day one. Craig Beckwith is after he takes another one. Castle got into the second. Pride of America third then Bucco and classic Ben and they're all the way back to Lawn Mower I'm not sure where hardly for the national finish or whichever one was the invisible one I think that's the one that it was <laughs> it's Landlock that takes a strange classic chase at Warwick we are leading from start to finish and it did warn them at the beginning not to let it get too far clear it never seemed that far in front but it just stuck on and kept going and it's in the handicap proper as well, so it's no fluke. So Landlock takes it for Craig Beckwith. Castle Donington second for Darren Thompson. Pride of America third for Paul Rhodes. Bucco placed again for Martin Leader in fourth. And the fifth place horse was... We'll come back to me in a second. It was Classic Ben for David Hooney. Then came Dawn of the New Age for Joshua Sutherland. And one of his horses was invisible throughout that race. So after looking at a rerun then of that race, now it's finished, the Joshua Sutherland horse disappears just as it's about to jump the second fence. So if you want to go back and take a look at it, you can see it's there up until the second fence and just as it's about to take off from the second fence, it just suddenly disappears into thin air.